Over in Egypt, the Court of Appeal has rejected a suit challenging the composition of the judicial panels in two cases facing the former president, Mohamed Morsi. The defense team of the two Muslim Brotherhood leaders had moved to court to seek the removal of the panels presiding over the espionage and the prison break cases against the deposed president. In their application, lawyers for the former president had cited nine grounds, among them the judge's decision to confine former President Mohamed Morsi to a soundproof cage inside the courtroom. Earlier in the trial, Muslim Brotherhood leaders and Morsi continuously interrupted the court proceedings. A defiant Morsi refused to recognize the court, insisting he is still president. All the grounds they raised are weak. The law has set particular reasons to change the panel, none of which apply to Morsi's case. They knew it wouldn't be accepted, but sometimes lawyers do this to buy time. And even if the defenders are not hearing through the cage, that's not enough to change the panel. Both former presidents, Morsi and Mubarak, have been restricted to the soundproof cage during their separate trials. A source from Mubarak's trial confirmed to CCTV that the microphone and speakers in the cage are faulty. So when the judges turn off the mics for Morsi to prevent him from interrupting the proceedings, the speakers goes down as well, and the defendants wouldn't be able to hear the trial proceedings. With the court's decision to reject the defense's request to change the judicial panel, all of Morsi's three cases will resume starting next week. Adel Mahri, CCTV, Cairo.